good morning students today our class is social science and we will study a new chapter unit number 8 role of parliament in democratic country i will not read textbook i made it summary and it will help you to understand let's start in democracy people give the power to government to take decisions and implement the laws in democracy people elect the government of their choice through election in democracy the government has to make clarification and provide the base for the steps and decision taken sovereignty of the people is the most important characteristic of democracy democracy in gujarat is known as lok shahi the welfare of more and more people in the main aim in democracy india has adopted parliamentary democracy the parliament is the supreme institution in india the president vice president lok sabha and rajya sabha are included in parliament the lok sabha is known as the lower house and the rajya sabha is known as the upper house parliament represent the people so it has complete and important powers the parliament makes new laws and does amendments in old laws amendment means changes it asks the questions to the government gets information about its work keeps control on the government and provides guidance lok sabha elections are held every 5 years from each constituency one member is elected by majority for the lok sabha the elected candidate is known as the member of parliament or mp after the general election the leader of that party or a coalition of parties which has a clear majority in the parliament is appointed as the prime minister by the president the prime minister does the duties of the leader of the ruling party in lok sabha the prime minister forms the council of minister from the members of his party by the invitation of the president he hands over one or more departments to each minister the ministers along with prime minister together take administrative decisions the elected members of legislative assembly of each state elect the member of rajya sabha there are in all 250 members in rajya sabha out of them 238 members are elected and the remaining 12 members are appointed by the president the rajya sabha is a permanent house it is never dissolved fully one third of the members retire at the end of every second year and the same number of members are re-elected in their place the vice president of india acts as the chairman of rajya sabha when the parliament session is going on at the first stage the time for questioning is decided the member of parliament asks questions to the minister of the government through these questions the government gets the change to know the def uh, the defects of the administrations and the problems and difficulties of the people it is an important responsibility of the members of the parliament to question the government about the administrative works in democracy the opposition party plays a creative role by finding draws drawbacks of the programs and policies of the government president is the most important and integral part of the parliament a bill 
that is passed by both the houses becomes a law only after the signature of the president. President had the power to decide about the meetings of parliament and announce the completion of the session. So here the uh, summary is completed. You please read textbook once or two times. You will understand easily. I will give you homework. You please complete because your uh, uh, exam will come within this month, end of this month. So be prepared. Okay. All the best.